Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. We have some more adventuring to do. And, uh, God, I cannot be any happier to be off of that freaking boat. <laughs> I'm still mad about that. That was awful. Let's move on. So I'm not sure how long each of the campaigns actually is. Are. I feel like we're getting close to the end, though. I have no healing. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Alright, so what's our current objective here? Okay. Interesting. Huh. Okay, objectives. We need to find Grace's missing drawing still. Break through the barriers of self-deceit. Oh, here. Jeremy was calling out for help, but Condi couldn't figure out where the voice was coming from. For a moment, Condi wondered if the boat itself was Jeremy, or if he was below it somehow. It didn't matter right now. Jeremy was clear on one thing. He wanted Condi to get the steamboat running and out of the mud. <laughs> it was a metaphor all along. But, uh, as you can see from the title, the true monster was peer pressure. So. Alright, so we need to go look in the empty room and look for the treasure in Grace's drawing. That's right, we found a, uh, a drawing that was just like... The box of the room, and then like an X here that was like pirate treasure. So, let's check our map. Clerk's office. Ah! We, yeah, we can finally get in here. Rad. Okay. Hang on. Oh, wrong button. Excuse me. Thank you, fish. Thank you, fish. I brood. Fifty-five months. Thank you. That's so many. Is there was still a puzzle in here. What was in here? I don't remember. By this door? Is it showing me the safe? Because we already... Yeah, we already did that. Y'all. Okay. Why use axe for chop when you use for combat? Yeah, I... Mm. You gotta use the wiki. Who would ever think of using an axe to chop wood? Anybody who's confused on that, I sent Brood a, uh, <laughs> a post of somebody who was like, still thinking of the person who gave Stardew Valley a bad review and said it was a bad game because you have to use the wiki. Because she ran around and, uh, didn't know that you could use the axe to chop wood for 10 hours. <sighs> Also, something else occurred to me last night. When, uh, when we first started this game and saw the painting of Jeremy... No, no. I can't move. Okay, now I can move. Yeah. 
you chasing me? Are you just gonna say no and then... Oh, the door closed. Is the music gonna start when I open this again? Okay, he's just gone. Alright, we'll see you later, hat man. Anyway, so uh, that painting of Jeremy was saw, and I was like, Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the guy from the third game. It's not. It's the guy from Shadow of the Comet. <laughs> Which, it's not supposed to be, but that's exactly who that looked like. All these old games are just running together for me here. I'd say that Minecraft is immensely more wiki dependent. Oh yeah, absolutely. Surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old Barfly short. Barfly. I keep reading that as Barfly now. We're seeing Barfly an awful lot, but I guess we are playing games that take place in this era. It's not exactly an outdated term, is it? Can I... There we go. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess I don't hear it used all that often, but... I still hear it occasionally. What's in the vent? Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. I have no way of getting that open, though. Play the guitar! <laughs> My god! Moment of clarity. Sometimes. I think this place makes me worse. That Dossetto might be my grave. A coffin made of ostentatious architecture. A Taj Mahal for the drunken depressed. There's something about Dossetto. Something about Dr. Gray. Like we all pretend that we're here to get better. When in fact we are here to be forgotten. Something something Hotel California. A little outdated. I think we call them alcoholics now. <laughs> I mean, you can be an alcoholic without being a barfly. Just drink at home. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that was the door closing behind me. I thought the hat man was coming back. Alright. Whose room is this? This is Ruth's room. Good. I was gonna guess from the hat. That man forgot his hat. That's right. Oh, God. I don't like that silhouette. I know it's that, but God. Strange picture. Time to rifle through a woman's belongings. I'm sure she won't mind. Oh, yeah. People love when you do that. Especially when you're a woman and, uh, you know, there's a man that you don't know going through all of your stuff. Okay, he's trying to climb the bed, but not quite. Oh, it's because that bag is there. The bag makes a little ramp. <laughs> Oh. Look at that camera. My lord. Oh, she was playing solitaire. She didn't get very far. She'll think it's attractive if the literature from the 20s is to be believed. That's right. Oh man, this guy's taking an interest in me. Uh, yep. That's fine. Carby, you don't need to get right up on that. Part of that's my fault, but he kind of 
keeps this momentum a little while after you uh, stop walking. Alright, here we are this in the empty room. room. I belong here. Oh, that's good. That's healthy. Ashes of Indigo. Terceto stands on a breeding ground for the grotesque. A temple devoted to rebellious growth. The most ugly and cancerous side of nature. You may be able to shield your psyche for a while. But rest assured, your soul will come to pray to that hideous god in time. That is the story of every man and woman who gather around that ancient arbor. They all croak, bark, and bleat because their own bodies are afraid and they wish to repel the evil those words conjure. Ia! Ia! Instead of that blasphemous name, they gossip in hush whispers the name of their seto, Astarte, and the Black Goat of the Woods. Me. I recognize this view. Do you? God. Okay, there's another safe. Let's go look at it and see if he's like, oh, no, no. I know the combination. I carry it with me. Do you? Would you mind telling us? Because I don't remember. You're the missing patient, but that wouldn't make sense because why wouldn't Dr. Gray say something? You should come. I can't believe I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? Find the familiar numbers. Well, there's 196 there. I know that number. Where's that from? I did this. I wrote that. All right. One, nine, six. Summer of 69, now! Okay. Okay. That's not it. Gotta use some book. Yeah. Alright, so what is this? 692 is what we need. A time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Big Yoon. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. Okay. How long have I been here?
Okay, but we know that's there. Like has something hidden inside. Oh, we used the coin to uh, unscrew it. Okay. That's fine. Oh, yeah. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Like, I hear the music ramping up. What is this now? Oh, somebody moved this stuff in front of here. Alright, I guess we'll go this way. Better not get attacked by anything in here. What the hell happened in here? Ah, crap. We're out in the bayou. What did I just say? What did I just say? I was mashing G instead of F. So I guess it's good that we didn't have any heals, but now we're also almost dead. That's the problem. Alright, there's an axe in there. Oh god. Oh, screw this. Oh god. No, 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 no. Come on! Don't tell me they're just gonna keep coming. Okay, these are all just weapons. Carnby, aim up! They're in the sky! Okay. Oh look, the statue's changed. Shotgun shells, rad. Oh, but I'm full? Can only carry ten at a time. Are you serious? Anyway, yeah, these are all different now. <laughs> Stuff them in your hat. For real. Shovel's about to break, so. Yeah, I have zero health. We're probably gonna have to do this again. <sighs> Forget which one was Grace's room. It was this one. None of those have moved, but they're still pretty creepy. And what's even creepier is that this jack-in-the-box is here again. Joke's on you, that's Jeremy's room. Huh. That's weird that that one keeps popping up. Harmby, please.
Like, I know that I'm really good at getting this kind of stuff to happen, but come on. I don't think it's gonna let me back down. I'm gonna have to reload. Yeah, exactly. It's been a little too easy. I usually have to put in a tiny bit of effort. This was just me trying to walk through the room. And I was thinking if I could just get close enough to get into the uh, the menu to, you know, interact with this, maybe that would be able to push me out or for it to check my position or something and reset it when we come out the menu, but... We are too far away. I'm just gonna reload. Let's see where that autosave puts us. <sighs> okay, that's pretty good. All right, now I have to move these around. So let's see what we've got here. It seems like this one needs to go here and also needs to do that. Not quite. goes there. So which one isn't right? Or do I just need to back out? Nope, okay. Does this one not quite match? Let's swap these two. There we go, that's what it was. Is this one wrong then? That doesn't, uh... Yeah, that definitely doesn't go like that. But yeah, that side there doesn't quite match up right. Okay. Huh? What? Ah, 
help! My help! Okay. Didn't like that. We'll go in here. This looks familiar. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's never been here. Ooh. And there's a ghost of me over there. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, precious drink. Writing desk key. All right. Okay. Let's scribble that person out for some reason. Wanted Casey Jones. That's not Casey Jones. That's me, isn't it? Yeah. How long have been since I drowned myself in drink and depression? And it all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. Cool. God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? Figure out which case Carnby was working. Well, Carnby, it was, uh, 1993. Telegram from Gabriella Saunders, sent December 25th, 1928. Mm-hmm. That's alone in the dark, too. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Crumble newspaper clipping from December 23rd. Teddy Saunders goes mad! Kidnaps child! You know, as most philanthropists do. There is a man. All right, let's go put it on our mind board in the mind place. Little toy shop burglarized. Oh, turn that over. There we go. Basin Street Portraits. Check out Thornhill. This case. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state. But he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Okay. Write myself a note, buy more yarn. This aesthetic looks a little familiar. Uh, 
Oh, is that it? Is that all the Easter egg we get? Now we're back out on the streets. Oh, I wanted more of that. Show me the original Dorsetto, please. Oh, well. Drinky, drinky. Eh, let's not drink that one. Ah, oh, a murder! La Campana. Oh, oh, yep, we had to load all those birds flying away. Haha, <laughs> throw a flashbang, yep. This bird's had grenades for me. You can't go that way. Oh, I don't know if I want to go that way. Those plants are haunted. Oh my god. That wasn't even me! That's just the game! I can't even touch those! Okay... So yeah, I will say this game has some issues with collision. Good. Can't go this way. That's okay, that is fully loaded. Is that why the game runs like crap sometimes? Raving plants? Yeah, maybe. Oh, we have smoke and we have water and we have lights and we have those plants. There's thorn hills. Somebody took the arms off this! <laughs> Alright. Just gonna grab that real quick. Alright, we're full on heels and I'm excited about it. We have a decent amount of ammo on us. Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information about his heels, so it needed some convincing. Good thing I have a Not bunch of booze and a bunch of bullets. Squeaky clean. This, however... Hee <laughs> hee. Place has everything. We got butts, we got booba. What more could you want? Reflection's a little uh, aggressive there. <laughs> there we go. Now we truly have everything. We got the doodle. More shotgun shells. That's not where you keep those. Anyway. Why am I sneaking? I don't know if he was just doing that or if I hit that accidentally. Looking at a painting of a lighthouse, okay. I'm full on those. Let's just go ahead and... There we go. Now we are in business. Back there. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to 
call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. All right. I don't remember this at all, but I can't say it didn't happen. Okay. I guess my shovel. <laughs> no, Thornhill, get back! Thing's a demon, come on. All right, I see one thing down there. I see two things. Wait one second, sorry. Be right back. All right, how long do we think I can successfully sneak through here? Had to load in that fog. Okay, this is going to be tight.
Okay, maybe not. Looked like they were moving a lot faster than me, but I guess it's okay. They can't see me over here. Don't worry about it. Close the door, close the door, thank you. <laughs> All right. Lots of bullets here on the bus. Okay. Like, I need to go out that way toward the lights. Alright, this wants us to go this way, so we're gonna have to go through the park probably. Yep. Candlestick, all right. Let's clue this up. I don't see anybody else around here, but I'd rather play it safe here. <laughs> Gotta load that fog back in. I thought for sure I was gonna have to use a climb prompt or something there. This is kind of nice. There's some more health, which I will take gladly. There's a Molotov. We know that name. Health is full. Okay, don't show me my uh thing there. More health. Yeah, I'm full. I don't need that. Okay, yeah, I guess there wasn't anybody else in here. Can't show health in sneak mode, yeah. I guess I wasn't showing it because I'm full. Of a pipe. More ammo. Shotgun shells. More shotgun shells that I can't pick up. All right, we were coming here to look at me. Are you serious? I realize collision's a difficult thing. Because you don't want to do too much, because then you're like, you know, why am I three feet away from this car? This is ridiculous to be putting an invisible wall here. But you also have to avoid situations like these. Where it looks like it could have used just a touch more.
Okay, we auto saved here. button. Okay, I do have that. To pick up all this ammo again. And all of the health. Where did it go? Either of those are health. Yeah, did we already confirm that uh, the items are randomized here in this game, or uh, is that just my brain not knowing where stuff is? Yeah, I'm not sure either. Anyway, I had to investigate that from the other side. Shotgun shells I can't pick up, and there's the pipe. Okay, well those things stay the same. We're not gonna go up to that car. Alright. On my way to the hotel, the Morton gang caught up with me. I owed them money. A lot of it. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They'd be back. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here comes the Morton gang. Too bad. I'm gonna go around the side and get those shotgun shells. <laughs> he did it! He did say the thing. <sighs> Didn't even get to use my candlestick. I can't come back here, but why? I gotta be careful not to dip on anything weird. Hotel St. George! Alright, let's go! <sighs> no, you're supposed to continue burning. Soda. Give me one of those and I'll take one of those ham hocks. Carnby needs a drink and a snack. Red. Really wants me using the machine gun. We're probably gonna max out soon. I imagine we can only have 20 loaded and uh... Twenty in our pockets is. K 
Curious stuff, kid! Ay! Yes! That's the thing we used to cover up the painting in the first game! The one that shoots the arrows at us! Yay! Oh, that's exciting! All the world's a stage. Secret objective. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm happy. I need my Easter eggs to, uh, you know... Call back to the originals. Let's take a look at that. Hotel bill! Hotel bill dated December fir uh, 21st through 25th. Okay. Mr. Ted Stryker, single room. Dinner telegram. Okay. $12. My god. Room number 301. You get five rooms, three dinners, and one telegram. Oh, that's for five nights. Stupid. <laughs> like, whoa, homie rented five rooms? <laughs> uh. I found it. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. Alright. Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. Feels vaguely familiar. Two o one. Two o two. Here comes three. There's three o one. That's where we need to go. But can we also come in here? Nope. Nothing down here. All right. Card. David Thornhill's business card. Okay. I recognize this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them, but where? I thought I got stuck on something else. That chair was just in my way. <sighs> Find out where the kidnapper went. All right. Telephone directory. DeWitt Boarding School, Tallahassee, Florida. Okay. That's another name we recognize. Select document. Turn over. Okay. Guess that's not right. There we go. Three hundred fifty dollars for the Kingsport painting. All right, let's see what's on the back of this. Do it. 
That's right, he was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee. And he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. Oh lord, he's trying to climb the bed. Back up, Carnby. Okay. <laughs> Carnby, no! Not like this! Okay. Pearl River. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Something else over here. A bunch of junk. go down to the boat, but I cannot enter the boat. Alright. Let's go this way! You know, if it weren't for all the mosquitoes, this probably wouldn't be such a bad hike. I wouldn't even mind the humidity so much. Grab that. Let me get the hatch instead of the candlestick. Alright. Light's going that way, but I want to see what's over here. Oh, rather, the light wants us to go that way. Hey, Bebsy! Welcome back home! Oh god, birds. Oh no. It was her all along. Should have gone over to that other place. back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. Kick her in! Guess no, we just Ian. My father die again, then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him! We? Do it yourself! I'm down there with him, remember? Today was intentional. Can Kid really going to the park him? was needed. Oh, yay. So happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. There must be a way to save you both, right? 
Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. She's already in. No harm in kicking her. <laughs> okay, so I need to go up there. There was a spot back here with some lights that, uh... May have been something for just extras. But let's see, because I want the extras. Alright, let's see. Do we have anything good here? We do have some stuff. Bullets. Good. We like those. Profane totem. Nice. And it looks like we need a shaker. What happened to my axe? I guess my axe is gone. I don't remember using it. <laughs> we gotta play some of those. One of these days. Those games are cute. I watched my dad play through one of them. Alright, we can't go this way. We need to go up the stairs. Make the joke again. I've already made it once today. Oh, it's getting away. It says I am full on hatchet. Yet when I was trying to swing my hatch, no, no. Okay. Walker frame in that sentence. <laughs> it was in like 2006. <laughs> Come on. Well, that's when I watched him play it anyway. Shotgun shells, cool, but give me the health drink. Give me the health drink. Oh my god, it's not gonna let me pick that up. This is stupid. No, that wasn't enough. Are you kidding me? go okay that was a stupid problem this to have the bridge is operated okay they came out of no one maybe it was like oh three or something when I watched him play it still though <laughs> we're moving into the house for the second year of university. Yep. Oh, one, I was in uh, sixth grade. <laughs> Nothing's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Windows did deserve it. Look, they healed. They have some kind of Wolverine powers. 
But if you're not, uh... If you're not just firing shotgun shells at random, are you even a private eye? Alright, something's holding it back. I have some kind of emotional inhibitions happening here. There's something over there. I can't go this way because then I'll get stuck. I can't go this way either. Can I go down the hole? I cannot. Plus four and oh one. Jeez. Fight off the grasping vines to release the bridge. Okay. Do I shoot them? I do shoot them. Okay. And then there's you! That's fine. the game. Ow! Carnby needs a drink. Low frame rate is stressing Carnby out. Okay, I still hear one. Where is it? I know they're making sounds up there too. There's, there they are. Okay. Let me in! Let me in! Close the door! Save me, Windows! Ah! Give Hatchet! Give Hatchet! It will not give Hatchet. I think my melee is bugged. Oh, God, no! Like when a bird flies in through the chimney. safe for now. But seriously, what the hell? He will not melee. Oh. There we go. Pilot the boat by the house to the sinking car. Okay. Carnby! Lovely time for this not to be loaded. Hang on. Alright. Oh, that wasn't enough. Thought he was dead. I am full on hatchet, but I cannot use hatchet. Whoa. I can use candlestick, though. All right. That's weird. Let's finish loading this. And we're all good here. 
Money's too tight for hatchet. You get candlestick. Okay, I'm back in here and it's saved. I wanted to do that before we headed out. People starving for melee weapons in other countries, that's right. Oh. Gonna find me in that car. <gasps> the end. <gasps> it was me in the bath. <sighs> My God, Carnby, are you okay? Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house! Now get out! <sighs> hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. Your arm's clipping through okay. that chair. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. <clears throat> This place, it's... There are some very disturbed figures around here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm going to set everything right. Just be careful. All right. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out of this house. That's also how I heard that. Just okay. I think she just wanted me out of the bathtub. But still. Hey, Dr. Gray, a visit in his apartment. Conby had run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, but left her father to drown. He could have saved him. There was time. He just chose not to. Instead, he took Grace back to New Orleans and collected his paycheck. Alright. We're the baddies. Sitting in the park, all the cads... Well, a cad. Kids sat on a bronze turtle while I wore a hoodie with a red panda eating ramen. Wearing a Half-Life 2 hat. I come home to watch an internet gaming stream thinking to myself, Wow, I am a dork and I love it! There you go! <laughs> there you go. Hey, somebody came over and fixed all these. And now we've got some weird filter going on here. Dr. Graves was downstairs. Yeah, we just looked at the map, but I didn't, uh... Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait. Dr. Gray's apartment, right? run around here with all this weirdness going on. Nothing in here for me. 
So nothing in here for me. Let me in! Alright. Okay. Well, now this is Silent Hill. Like how that door just opened up, but sure, let's go in here. I'm shining a flashlight on you, come on! Immersion ruined! It's blocked. <laughs> Okay. Huh, that's locked again. God, every door's locked. I mean, I could probably stream some more of this tomorrow. Am I glad to see you? Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us snooping around. What's going on here? This feels so strange. What is this camera angle? Oh man, fixed camera! The past as a present. Get what you want. It's what that achievement was called for walking in here. There's a book missing. But I don't have tank controls in here, so... It's not quite right. False book! Myth of the Golden Fleece! It's a hollow book. You don't get to see that it's hollow, but alright. I think my Half-Life 2 hat has survived all this time from the game release until now with barely anywhere. That's quality. That is really good. the camera change if I walk over here? It won't let me walk over here. Have you found anything? Found a book. What? Y yeah. Uh, yeah, I've seen some things. Okay. Let me know if there is anything you want to talk about. I guess it's appropriate I'm wearing my umbrella shirt today. <laughs> Of course, you can't see it because my hair is in the way. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Silent Hill 2 didn't quite uh, use the fixed camera. What did you do? I was just rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Oh, snap me back over there. Hang on. Hang on. Huh. Has that been there this whole time? See what that is. 
That looks like a key. Please let me do the thing. There we go. Okay. Reminds me of the Chinese cosmetic company that stole the logo. <laughs> What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... the black goat of the woods with a thousand young or shubnigroth. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Uh huh. That mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at? Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes, you're from the Seattle. No? That's right. I just wanted to ask you a few questions to see if there is anything I can do to help you and your family. Okay. I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Sometimes. Do you want to tell me about the Dark Man? No. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. Juan? John? Who's John? No. Juan Luis Jorge. Wait there a moment. Here, take a look. Is he... Oh, he is the author. It's a magnificent book. Life-changing, even. The real Juan is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. My most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? Fantasize about people you read about? No. No. Well, there is Jacob. Who is Jacob? Turn to the last page. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice, Jacob Van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Oh, no, Doctor. Not at all. He is the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination, this mania, needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. I know your family calls it the Hartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head. And with that, I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time. In time. Yes, in time we will exercise all your demons. All the Dark Men. Yeah! Please, Mr. Hartwood, calm yourself. What happened? Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. Is that what that sounds like? Hey, Galaxy. Just finished working over all's freaking crazy day. Oh, hope that calms down for you. Yes. I saw the thing about the Baltimore Bridge, too. Not great. Seriously worked at Frictional Games on Soma and Amnesia that- Oh! That explains a few things. This snake dagger. 
a monograph by Yael Klein. In Ludwig Prinz's book on pagan rituals called The Mystery of the Grave, as translated by Nicholas Vachy, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the Snake Dagger. It has long been thought of as a poor translation of the original text, that it would be more appropriate with Worm Dagger from the Latin Vermis Cultrum. This seems natural following the recent consensus that the original title of Prin's book, The Vermis Mysteris, should literally translate to the mystery of the worm. However, this would take away from Vahi's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prin certainly was using the term worm as a symbol or synecdoche for death and the dead, which is made clear by the contents of the book, in the case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss his translation. Reading through Vahi's correspondence with his patron, it appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vahi had dug up Prin's living relatives and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts and an actual snake dagger. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and had such a clear shape of a wave that Vahi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, it seems prudent that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prin's book attempts to describe. The symbolic value of the shape becomes more apparent when reading about the use for the dagger. In the passage of possession and exorcism, we find the snake dagger poisons the poisoner within the victim and is therefore pacified. Where the literal text would tell us that the worm dagger trumps the demon possessing the victim, it tells us nothing of their reasoning only that somehow this dagger wins against the demon, like it had the better hand in poker. Vahi's translation allows us to follow the underlying logic to the ritual magic that is being performed. Poison the poisoner. Sounds like fighting fire with fire. That to hurt the demon possessing its victim, the priests would have to fight back with a power that is known to the evil they are fighting. The snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. Finally, it also helps us understand their relationship to lunacy, that it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. What is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head and not their heart. The snake dagger always went to the eye of the possessed, leaving them partially blind, if they had the good luck to survive. Hmm. Interesting. Oh no, that wasn't a bad thing. There's just been some, uh... What do I want to say? Nuances? Just little things in the way that these, uh, these entries have been written. And that seem very familiar. So we opened that up, but that didn't, uh, do anything for us. Phone ringing. You think all of them are in this cult business? Even Jared? I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to stop all of this. <laughs> Timey wimey weirdness. <laughs> Guess what? Yep. so busy trying to free your uncle from the promise he made to the dark man i guess i kind of just let everything else go don't worry detective i feel like we're close i'm sure jeremy will turn up 
If he is part of the cult, he wouldn't want to miss the Feast of St. John. I just need enough information to make him see the truth. I hope you're right, but I doubt he'll show up. Not as long as the Dark Man's got him hiding. Can't think about Soma without getting existentially depressed for a few days. Yeah! Yeah, I could see that. Alright, so we need to use the talisman. And he's like, I'm not sure which way I need to have it go. But maybe we can try anyway. Do I just open it up and just go? Okay, doesn't look like it. So what else can I do in here? I opened up the cabinet. I guess I need to go answer the phone. Hello? It, it, it can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything he wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. Investigate the broken clock. All right. All right. So which way was the thing facing? It was like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright, go back to the room we were just in. Got it. Why would you answer a phone in an office you've broken into? That was my computer. You okay? Hey, you Beetlejuice! Just stupid telephone. How's it I know. going? I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not. Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Oh, yeah, huh, huh. Oh, good, we found the entrance to Narnia! Got my last break, but alas, must go back to work. Oh, oh no! I think you're gonna want to see this. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to... Whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. No, sorry, watch. I Goodbye, Miss Harp. No, watch me go into the closet! Emily! Ah. Okay. Hey, we're on the ship. Ugh. And my candlestick works. Let's go. Oh, there's so many things for me to get stuck on in here. What's Tom Cruise doing in here? <laughs> I didn't think it would actually let me walk through here. Oh, it kind of did. All right. But yeah, we've already had to reload the game twice today because I got stuck on something and the game would not release me. And I wasn't even trying to do anything. Like, I was just walking on a normal path. Oh, 
Okay, we just got an achievement called Frenzy, and the uh, text is Enter Hell. Sure, alright. Nah, uh, my candlestick's better. A flare? It is a flare gun, okay. Is the flare gonna light up the sky and look for waypoint flags? Okay. Full of flares. Okay. Cello offering. Cool. We need one more thing there. found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob van Ostadt was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day, the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares, and headed toward the coast and up the climb, towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him. Transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, you must leave now, Heshtan. Go, and never come back. And so I left. All right. You crazy stuff. Stomach pain has subsided. Okay, good. I was wondering if you were feeling better. But yeah. <laughs> Sometimes your body's just like, Hey, you're gonna feel like crap today. got a scam call. I don't know if this one is popular in the US, but somebody told him, hey, your son slash grandson got into an accident. He's in the hospital. You need to transfer money for the surgery right now. Oh, boy. Uncle immediately called my dad. He tried to call me. I was in the kitchen cooking dinner. Didn't hear the phone. Came back to the room only to find several missed calls. My dad's message is, call me urgently. Oh god, yeah, that's always a great, uh, great message to get. Oh, it was a scam and I was fine. Some back and forth, he relaxed. We ended the call. Those are some stressful minutes. God, yeah, that's awful. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, I haven't gotten one of those. Um... Mostly all of mine are about, uh, 
Either, hey, you have a warrant out for your arrest, call this number, or... Um... Stuff about car insurance, stuff about, uh... Phones. Okay, those flares do not last the entire time. Yeah, student loans is another good one. I guess the game doesn't want us just wandering out into the darkness. So we'll use the flares for fun. Okay, there's a waypoint flag. More flares. There we go. Lamp and health. Good. Congratulations with breaking the game. From how you described it, it feels like it's totally on the game, not you doing shenanigans. Yeah. Yep, this has very much been uh, just the game. Okay. Oh, we gotta cross this. Oh, if we need to go up. Aurora Borealis! The game has not been liking me try, trying to just walk around the room in a normal fashion. So, yeah, that's been great. Fortunately, the checkpoints are actually really good, so it hasn't set us back too badly. So, I don't know, they may have known. Take the ice pick. I think that might be a little, a uh, little bit better than our candlestick there. All right, this is cool. I'm gonna answer the next call from an unknown number with, "I have the money, just don't hurt them." <laughs> I'm not allowed to run here. Investigate the ruins. Oh, okay. I was just gonna sit here. Hey there. I think we'll top the call in 2005 trying to get me to change phone providers and I got to say, sorry, I don't have a phone. I don't like how much ammo it's giving me. Oh... Don't make me fight, Jacob. <sighs> Getting some penumbra vibes here. But that's just because we're up in the snow and, uh, you know. Hey, you! What are you doing here? What is this place? He's just gonna screech. Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Okay, let's not shoot him with flares. Where did they go? Oh, that's cheating. Cheating, Jeremy. Not uh, Jeremy. Jacob. Oh, too many J names in this game. All two of them.
told me how to swap between my guns here, and I, uh... Don't remember what it said. Why is he limping? Was he injured? He's been up here for a long time. He's a little bit, uh, frostbitten. And probably a bunch of other things. Oh, did you die face down? Ah, Jacob. I wanted to look at your weird, gross face. Oh, we could have thrown a brick at him. Shotgun shells. So I can just walk up there. Other goodies around here. Doesn't look like it. Align the stars. I feel like that's gonna like teleport me or do some crazy stuff here, so let's walk over here first and see if there's anything. And there's not. Okay. Getting combat music now. I thought for sure it was gonna be like, ah, oh, round two. Just go into the old level seventy piss wizard spiel. <laughs> oh, is it time to bring back piss wizard? Align the stars then. Can I move the ones in the middle? Cannot. Alright. the other way. It's gonna take us an hour. Ugh. I went the wrong way again on this one. Don't worry about it. Do I need to do it down one more? Oh, that's just gonna ruin everything. No! Took a minute to light up, God. Oh, good. 
Bigfoot, he's got tentacles now. Of the lore. Sudang Trappy. Jeremy. <laughs> oh, we lobotomized Jeremy. Now the hat man wants us. We did everything! Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan. What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, my lord! <laughs> Doctor! Matisse! Wait! Ow, stop it! Jesus. What were you thinking, Garpe? for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Not how you good spell gumbo. You, you gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but you're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they okay? Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, combat. You want to try standing up? Well, if it isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have 
been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. But he's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. As soon as it was like, oh yeah, you just take the snake dagger and just shove it right in the eye and that'll be fine. And I'm like, oh, this seems mighty familiar now. Uh, why is this dude so nonchalant about us literally lobotomizing the poor guy? Well, like you said, he had been considering it. Yeah, you, uh, you missed a very, very infuriating part yesterday where I had to, uh, Put a few x-rays of his brain together. The puzzle was designed very poorly and the controls were just... <sighs> but yeah, we went down into the lab and they're like, Hey, yeah, so uh, we did some brain scans and there's this big like darkness in it. And he keeps screaming about how that's some kind of darkness worm or whatever. It's like, I would like to lobotomize him, but I want to, you know, check our other options first. So... There you go. At least we were not on the receiving end. Uh, yeah, we, we're not gonna talk about Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> Does Emily know about Jeremy's condition? Yes. She seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances. The puzzle was enough to make you want to jab a spike into your head. It really was. Psychological stories are so hard to get right because they end up with so many unanswered questions that the writers just leave on the floor if it's whatever you want to be. Yeah. Does she still want to take Jeremy away from Dorsetto? I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Jeremy, hang on for a little longer, okay? We'll be going back to New Orleans soon. Oh, good. I do so miss the city lights. This is depressing. Alright, so what does it want us to do now? Case closed. Detective Convy had found Jeremy and brought him back to Dersetto. He worried that Emily wouldn't be all that happy with his performance, considering Jeremy's impromptu brain surgery. Maybe she would refuse to pay him in full. It was the kind of thought that would normally infuriate Conby, but right now he just felt happy to be back. No matter if he would be seeing the $150 or not, he couldn't wait to rendezvous with Emily and go back to New Orleans. Okay. This last bit actually wasn't too bad. What we did yesterday was just awful. <laughs> uh, as every game these days does, we're going to be left with an open to a sequel. <sighs> yeah, I think they're going to try, but I don't think it's going to happen, honestly. And yeah, we did play, uh, play all three of the originals, but, uh, do not know about this hey, game. Rose. Glad to see you made it back to Dorsetto. You too, detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but it ain't bad. You seen Emily around? I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. Okay. 
catch you later. Looking forward to it, detective. Published by THQ, so everything should have a question mark on its future. <laughs> yeah, when I heard it was gonna be THQ involved in this, I was like, oh. And tempering those expectations. Good to see you back on your feet, Detective. Have some gumbo. Thanks. I'll save it for later. Shutting down to conserve power. <laughs> Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. The Eve of St. John is the most important date of the whole year. It's the only day when the black goat of the woods tends to her young. I'm going to go look for Emily. Don't worry about her. She wouldn't leave without you, would she? Yeah, that's all we've got. Is the detective feeling a little remorse for what he's done? I'm not entirely convinced that he thinks any of this is real at this point. <laughs> what are you looking for? Just keeping an eye out, Port Stone. Radio says it could be a wild one. Morse at the bottom of a bottle, as is the tradition. Yep. You don't know where Emily is, do you? She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said she wanted to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. I should probably get a move on, then. See you around, compare. Okay. Hang on, I have to stand here before I can talk to you. That is one impressive tree. More impressive than you could ever imagine. It's evil! So how does this all work? You dance around chanting? For the ritual, I mean? Stay and find out, detective. It might just do you good. You haven't seen Emily, have you? No, detective. I haven't. All right. I don't want to look at that because I'm scared it's going to trigger something. Yeah, well. All right, tell me. What the hell's about to happen here? Every year we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree. It's symbolical. Symbol... It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. You know? Just like a tree facing the seasons. Things change, but remain the same. Okay. So this is basically New Year's Eve, but with a tree metaphor. Exactly. You're so smart. It's about starting again. I mean, who could use a positive message like that and more than a bunch of lunatics like us? Thank you, Mr. Parker, that everybody claps. God, that ending. <laughs> I get the feeling some of you think this year is going to be special. Any idea why? God. Well, we got some new words, thanks to your buddy Jeremy, and some other changes to the program. Let's just say we're all in this year. 
<laughs> oh, oh, such a wild game. Hey, Grace. Hey, kid. What are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint Mother. What's your part in this? I'm the Cabri San Corn. It's very important. Only I can settle our debt. <gasps> She's the Capra Demon! Get her! You know, I had my doubts, but you are in the right place, Grace. I think you might be right. For once. The goat without horns! All right, so I can wait for Grace there. Oh, one of these doors opened. No, we don't. Okay. Well, we've talked to everybody. I guess let's uh, get on with the dang thing. Kinda wanna walk back there and see if there's anybody. All right, we'll see if there's anybody here. Scared of getting stuck back here. Why is she here? Is her mother Ruth? No. Yes. Don't remember. Was it Ruth? Everyone knows what to do? Y'all know the new words. No, not Mrs. Ruth. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, you need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. Hell, there are praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, mother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Hear us, mother. Take pity on us. Hear us, mother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us. Hear us, mother. And take pity on us. Take pity on us. Hear us, mother. And take pity on us. Take pity on us. Hear us, mother. And take pity on us. Are you crazy? This year is going to lose the habit cost of it. Grace, stop! Tree on fire and leave. Oh yeah, she was excited this whole time. She's like, "Yeah, I get to be the sacrifice." Oh dear God. I can't let that monster leave Dersetto. I have to stop it. This is fine. All right, let's make like a tree and leave. I think 
go that way. I don't understand which way it wants me to go. Every way is blocked. There's a ramp here. Okay. Harvey, please. Well, if there's anything that stops the old god, it's bullets. On health drinks. What? Oh, I want my axe back. Oh, it's not going to give it. No. Mouth. Or just shoot him in general, I'm not sure. In the mouth of the eyes, I can't tell. Reload, nerd! Looks like I need to break those little bubbles. Yeah, he doesn't like that. No. Quick. Yeah. Good, you're making these now. Reload, please. Ow. Rosa. Not these! Not the spiders! Not again! Enemy combat section, not good. Please reload the gun. I need those 
those little guys to die. Hitting. Ow. Come here. Power of Christ compels you. Uh oh. Okay, he does not seem to care about the power of Christ. Let's take that leg out. One more. I just need one more. Oh, I don't have any health. We're gonna die. I'm stuck. I am stuck. Okay, that was awful. Give me one second. I'll be right back.
Okay. Let's see where this puts us. All right. Round two. <coughs> No, not the debris! Ah, oh, I did it again! Well... Unskippable cutscene, that's not good. We're probably gonna be seeing this at least two more times. Uh, combat abilities are definitely hampered by the fact that it takes a freaking hour to reload. that though, which is nice. Not the tiny throwies. Oh my god, if these little tiny spiders weren't so dang tanky, this would be a better time. I'm not sure how much time it wants me to spend actually fighting these guys versus fighting the big baddie here. An angry brother of the Thorin. Yeah, kinda. Okay, that leg is down. Damage there. Ouch. Ouch. This is gonna be one of those boss fights, huh? Oh, buckle up, kids. I certainly hope it is. We're not taking the debris because we have an axe. This is seeming pretty final boss, and we did fight an evil tree at the uh, at the end of the original game, so. <sighs> this is our man. Nothing else going on up here. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You stop that.
squishy bit. enemies here. This sucks. And full of patience, are we? Real madness is the one we gained along the way, that's right. At least we're not climbing a ladder in half life, that's true. stuck in the floor so it's gonna be flailing like that. That's great. Yeah, slide across the floor. Oh, you're not dead. These little guys are the true final boss. Tony would not die.
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There's nothing good about what's happening here. Nothing oh. good. Hang on, can I shoot the flares at him? How do I swap? Hold those. We're gonna shoot some flares at it and see what happens. I'm taking that. So I'm not sure if it only takes damage in those spots or if those are just the weak points that we need to like, you know, progress the fight. Because I'm not sure if I'm wasting bullets by just hitting it, you know, regularly. Stop flailing. Shoot. They could just sit here and do this. It does seem like those are the only vulnerable spots, but it does bleed when you shoot it, so... But yeah, those seem to be the only hits he's actually reacting to. Oh, Alright, more of those, please. Okay, now he's just gonna spit out guys. Another one that's less good.
down, Rip. God. Yeah, the music cut means we did it. The techno. Oh, what the hell was that? I tried to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black boat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Why did the Subtitle, get... Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. Ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? I thought you said you didn't need saving. Don't leave her. She's important. Of course we're taking her with us. Ten's not bad. I may go a little bit higher. I I might give that a six. But yeah, uh, very mid. <laughs> but hey, there is still room for that to change. We do need to play through uh, Emily's side of the story and see what exactly she uh. And covers Mr. Waits was Yuri Lowenthal. <laughs> Liam O'Brien. And oh my god. Huh. How do you get these people in here? up with VODs on YouTube, I feel like my assessment won't change drastically. Yeah, it, uh... It, 
it was pretty mid. The controls were not great, but the combat still felt a hell of a lot better than Alan Wake's. <laughs> like, it was infuriating, but not quite that bad. So, you know, that's, that's where my frame of reference is coming from here. Yeah, the game performance was not good. It stuttered pretty hard in some very, uh, very key places where it very much did not need to be doing that. Um, and yeah, the story was going somewhere, and then it felt like they just kind of were like, Oh crap, we need to put Cthulhu stuff back in here. <laughs> A rather shub-shub. Oh yeah, we're not just having a uh, fun PI wandering through the streets of New Orleans game. We need to put some old god stuff in there. And yeah, that fight sucked. That fight sucked real hard. <sighs> it was not a good time. Uh... Yeah, I feel like when it comes to uh, defeating old gods, a big monster fight is not the way to do it. I mean, like, there can be a little bit of that, but the way it needs to be stopped has to be some kind of, like, ritual thing or, you know, some kind of magical thing. Because I have a really hard time believing that an old god can just be taken down by a few bullets or, you know, a few bullets, some fire, and then the rest of the house falling on top of it. <laughs> and yeah, especially when big monster fight is placed at the end of a game where combat is not the focus. Yeah. Like, the visuals, voice acting, overall atmosphere, the story was intriguing, but I feel like at some point it went wildly sideways and straight out the window, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much how I'm feeling as well. But hey. I didn't set my expectations too high, so I'm not extremely disappointed in this. I am still a little bit disappointed, though. Oh, well. But hey, we still have uh, half the game left. We need to go see what Emily's doing. Very interested to see what her perspective is going to be, because when we've met up with her, it seems like she's taking a very much more logical approach to this, whereas uh, Carnby was just like, alright, let's just run with all this. I'm also curious to see what her combat's gonna be like, because we really didn't see her using her guns or anything at all till the end. So I'm wondering if she's gonna be more stealth, or or if she's even gonna encounter that many monsters and stuff, because Carnby has the talisman, so... I don't know. Also give it a 6 out of 10. Not a bad rating, honestly. I don't feel like we wasted our time like it was the case with a couple of our previous games. <laughs> yeah. I will say, though, I did enjoy this a lot more than the, uh... 2008, the other uh, Alone in the Dark that was more modern. Not New Nightmare. The other one. Alright. A sneaking suspicion that Emily will supplant Carnby in her story such that she experiences the madness and Carnby becomes the logical one. Yeah. I'm a little bit worried that they are just going to swap it a little bit, but 
They were advertising that there was going to be some difference between the two playthroughs, so I'm really hoping that that's not what they did, but I guess we'll see. But yeah. It was okay. <laughs> That's all I got. Um, I guess we can start up Emily's tomorrow. I know it's Wednesday, but <laughs> I was gonna go pull weeds in the yard, and I really don't want to do that. So maybe we'll just play some more of this instead. That way we can wrap up Emily's uh play through next week and then we'll be on to our next adventure which I need to figure out what that's gonna be oh lord it's a glowing endorsement isn't it alone in the dark more fun than pulling weeds <laughs> oh boy all right I'm gonna head out go grab something to eat and then go get to work on some things Sales skyrocket, yeah. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for joining me for that epic um, adventure, is what we'll call it. Y'all take care. Start up Emily's tomorrow. See y'all later. <laughs>